we are going to do today is uh, install some solar panels on the roof of the caravan. Um, the best thing to do is to lay them out somewhere that's a lot easier to work on than a caravan roof. Set the system up, see that it works, um, get all your cables cut to length and, and in good shape, and, uh, and then take it apart and reinstall it on the roof of the caravan. So here we go. This is the, the little control unit that makes it, it just sort of balances everything between the panels, the draw that you're taking from the system and the battery. So you've got these are your panels, they go in there, the battery connects to there, and your 12 volt system comes out of here. You've also got a couple of little USBs in there which is handy. I need to go get something from the local hardware store. I'm sure this will be the first of a few trips to the hardware store today. But that's just part of the deal. The trickiest thing is that it's all my stuff, all my tools, what I have left of them. I left a bunch in LA, but everything is in a different place. There's some stuff on the boat, some stuff in the car, some stuff here, and some stuff on the caravan. So anytime I need a tool, I'm like, God oh, damn it. It's like when I was at the Red Loft or, or Elwood, uh, we had a space to, that's where all the work got done. So all the tools were right there. Not so much now. I'm getting there. This is my controller and it's now connected to this battery and it's telling me I have 12.8 volts which is correct. Now I'm gonna connect the, um, the solar panel. Uh, they both put out I think just over 12 volts but with different amps. So the amps go together the voltage stays the same so these are connected in parallel not in series. And that should, that should be then charging this battery. As soon as this is connected up, it should work. It's that simple. Red here goes to positive here. So the panels are going to go on the roof. This connector is going to get waterproofed and be up on the roof. And then this wire will go down through the roof to the controller. You also have to be careful when you're working with solar because they're always live. Anyway, I sound like an expert. I am not an expert. In fact, not being an expert is almost one of the reasons I'm doing this because I want to show you if a chump like me can do this Anyone with, with pretty basic electrical skills can do it. Screw that one down. Wait for the little thing to light up. Yeah. Well, it won't light up. Oh, it does light up. So there's a little bit of power going through it, even though the towels are covering it up, but not very much. 0.2 of an amp. Not a whole lot charging the battery right now, but uh, they're inside and it's cloudy, so when it's bright sunlight, that should go up to about 5 amps. I'm excited, that works. So here we have my phone, and I'm plugging this in here, and plugging the phone in here. Ta da! Charging. So with these two batteries and two more that I'm going to get, this means um, I'll have 400 ampere hours, which is about, I don't know, 260, 270, maybe 280 usable amps, ampere hours. Um, even if it's cloudy for four days, I'll still be able to have power in my caravan, uh, which is great. Each one of these is 100 watts. And I have room for about six up here, which I don't need, but 
I think I'll start with with the two and then this controller can take another one so that would be 300 watts which is plenty I'm a rock star I just spent 10 minutes looking for that you see you can't really see it because it's white on white but this is the so the other solar panel and I'm like I walked into this room like five times going where is the panel I was thinking about trying to avoid drilling a hole in the roof, but I don't think it's avoidable. I think we'll get a drill. That way I know the hole is in the right position. So we're good. I've uh, drilled a hole in the roof here. And then there's the two panels. And then what I'm going to do is shove these down as far as they'll go, pull this up, seal this, and then fix the fix the solar panels to the roof, which I'm going to do with that tape on a slightly temporary basis. I'll put a couple of screws in there just for good measure, but um, that'll work, that'll work for now. That's where the cables come in. And then around here, I'm gonna mount this controller somewhere here, just so I can see what's going on. And then the cables are gonna run back into here, down here, into this part here. Um, this is a water heater, but it's, it's broken. I'm going to leave the broken water heater in place so that I know what uh, what space it takes up and then I'll fit a new one one day but not today because it's probably not going to work the first time there's always something wrong solar panel on the roof, which is this one here, is charging the battery at 13.2 volts. Um, I've also been careful to mount it sort of towards the middle and not far from the wheel so that it's right over the, uh, the center of gravity because I'm going to have four of these puppies and four of them probably weigh about 220 pounds, 230 pounds, and you kind of want that weight in the middle over the axle, so that's good. The way this works is there's actually two systems. There's the panels on the roof that come in through the hole. That connects to this controller, and the controller sends power down to the battery. That's system one. If I want to use the battery, then I have an inverter. This is just a cheap inverter. It was about 20 pounds. And you see, that turns on, and that gives me 240 volts, which is what I need to run um, my computer and a couple other little things. But really, it's just a computer. Um, and I did a test with this battery, and this is 110 ampere hours, and it powered my 27-inch iMac for 13 hours straight, um, which I'm pretty pleased with. So once I put the second battery in, which is oh, it's up in the uh, up in the house. That'll give me about 20, 25 hours, maybe, of power running a computer all the time. It's the morning, and uh, I came out here to check everything is in order, and it is. 
Um, I'm parked under a tree right now, so the uh, the sunlight isn't hitting the uh, the panels directly. But here we have uh, twelve point seven volts going into this battery and this battery, and then I have a small. Uh, I think it's a 150, 150 watt inverter which converts the DC to AC, which means I can power a fan or a computer or anything else I need that's not too powerful. I mean, I'm not going to put a dishwasher in here. I couldn't really put a kettle or, or a heater in here that was running from electricity. That would be too much. But, but everything else is pretty low power. Um, so we're good. I'm very happy with this. Place is a mess, um, but that gets cleaned up today. So by the end of the day, this will all be set and the place will be a lot tidier. But you know, when you're working on things, sometimes it gets a little messy. Anyway, we're good. <laughs>